Hey guys, I'm switching gears. Although you don't probably haven't seen the other video yet. I'm not sure what time I'm gonna post this stuff and no clue. So right now I'm gonna work on this this tray of sterling. So this is gonna be the lowest prices that I'm ever gonna do. After this, they're gonna go online and I'll group them and sell them, you know, it averages probably I'm gonna say online know, about a dollar twenty, dollar and a quarter, maybe some higher, depending on the pieces, um, a gram. So a lot of this, I'll just be doing like a dollar a gram. All right, this is super nice. This is our first piece. Isn't that pretty? All that marcasites and CZs. And this is an enhancer, so this opens. I was going to grab a chain, decided not to because it's an enhancer. And I don't really feel like digging through all those chains. <laughs> I have so many chains. A mix. Let me see if this is signed. I don't remember. I have slept since then. It's 8925 Thailand. So on that one, this looks so tiny so far away, right? Isn't that pretty, pretty, pretty? I will give you a measurement on this. Since we're doing sterling, I'll put me in I didn't do, I mean, I did measurements by just eyeballing them, but we're going to actually measure these. This is an inch and a half by an inch and a quarter. So on this one, I will do, well, I might as well get a weight on this thing. Yep, I'll do 15 bucks. Ain't going to get no cheaper than that, Jackson. <laughs> Jackson. So let's number these. Let's do that. This already has a number, but I'm not playing with messing with that. So we're going to call this number one. And this is 15 bucks. Number one is $15. I didn't get a bag because I'm psycho. Here, this will work. I have no room for it, but it'll work if I could ever get it in place. I got so much stirring. It's craziness. It's crazy, baby. Let me just grab what's in the... What is in there? Uh, I don't remember what this was. This is actually vintage. It's Cabana. K-A-B-A-N-A. -A. No, wait a minute. No, it's not. This has got a stone. I lied. This is not the Cabana piece. I've left my glasses upstairs. This is beautiful sterling. Who is this? It's 95 Mexico T1127. That looks like, and my Presidium just refuses to come on. I need to check the plug. Let me pause you and go ahead and unplug it because I'm going to need it. Yeah, unplugging it and plugging it back in usually makes it catch its head. So it's an old Mexico piece. I don't know what that green stone is. It's still not quite ready yet. I don't want to sit here and wait. It's a dark green stone. Oh, it's malachite. All right, that's malachite. I couldn't see the stripes in it. My light was good from outside, but now it's real stormy out there, just howling wind. Yeah, it's malachite. That's nice and big, too. It's heavy. If I recall, this goes on a torque. It's two. It's a little over two and a half inches that way. And right at two inches this way. And what's our weight on this bad boy? This is 21.8 grams. Okay, so 21.8 grams. And I remember buying this. Um, I have to take a loss on it. I don't really want to, but life is such, right? It's so nice and big. Did I say 28 for Christ's sakes? 21.8. Okay, I'll bite the bullet. I'll do it for. 35. This is as low as I can go on that thing. I think I paid that or a little more. I think I did. I know I did. So I'll drop it a little bit so I can actually get you closer to my lowest market on this is number two. <clears throat> Let me drop it. I'll just drop it to 30 even. Okay. Yeah, it all comes out in the wash. I will take lose on some pieces. I'll gain on others. That's that's life. Right, this is sterling. These do not come off. 
I like this because it does this. So it's easy just to pop on your wrist. So it's easy just to go ahead and pop, 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 pop it on and pop it off. And it sits at, right now, it's at six and three quarters. Okay. And I have to zero this darn thing out every time. So it's 12.7 grams. So I'll do this one for $12. How's that? So see, I try to stick to what I said when I can. But that one brooch is just, yeah, that's an amazing piece. <laughs> All right, so this is number three. Didn't I say 15? I think so. I don't remember. If I didn't, I want to work how I said. Whatever I said. Whatever I said. All right, what are you? This is a vintage sterling piece. Nice and big. I know, I'm covered in ink already. <laughs> it's super nice. What is this one? I think this one is signed, other than just sterling. They all just say sterling. And this is probably a 1940s piece. It says sterling. Anybody else claim this? Yeah, it's probably a 40s piece. That is beautiful. And it is um, dimensional. Those roses are raised off. Very much detailed. Very detailed. Nice. There's your brooch. Round hinge. Early locking clasp. This one's super nice. So it's like, what is that? Like almost two and a half inches right at it and like a little over one a little over an inch and a half this way and that one is 22.71 grams so i'll do it for 23 dollars how's that i'm not gonna get any lower it's a little over a dollar a gram, not much. Uh, this is number four. Was back. I was close. Almost worked out. Number four. Uh, did I say 23? I've lost my freaking mind. Oh, no, it's 24 grams. Jesus. I don't remember what I said. I was doing it. But gram, that bag doesn't weigh gram. I don't remember. It should have been like what twenty-four dollars, based on the dollar gram sort of kind of. I know that's stupid low for that piece because it's old. <laughs> Life goes on. Life goes on. These are nice. They have the backs. Earth be still. I don't see any markings on these. These are sterling and hematite. Oh, there's something on this one. It says R W R W G. It's all in like cursive R W and then G and then sterling. There's your mark there. And on these. Okay, we're eleven point seven grams. I'll do those at fifteen dollars. That's stupid though. It says, "Oh no, that's the wrong one." I thought maybe I took notes on it. Wrong piece. Wrong piece. Wrong piece. I have a box on top of my. Oh man, I could have used this. I was doing my vintage because I already did one this morning. I already did one video this morning. All right, so what number are we on? I know, I forget that quickly. Number five, and I did what, something stupid? 15 bucks? <laughs> number five, $15. Okay, I can't do this by weight, but this is sterling. I had one that wasn't one that is. This is the one that is. So it's just sterling findings is what this is. But it is real um, coral. I did check it with the acetone. It's not dyed. It is just on the thick um, 
like wire cord stuff. This has got some age on it. That's a nice coral necklace. It's just too heavy for me. Too heavy for me. But it is natural coral. If it's dyed, they did a hell of a job because the acetone doesn't take any color off whatsoever. I did check it. And this one, how long are you? It's got, you got a choice of, no you don't. I was save a choice of sizes, but you don't. I'd be fibbing. I would be fibbing. Let me get you linked on this. Do, 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 the drop on it is, so this one's a 16 inch. Size like sterling findings, 16 inch natural red coral. Looks like branch coral, doesn't it? Yes, it does, you know. I'll be doing at least one more, maybe two vintage to release today. I'll try to do my story and sell tomorrow. I'm saying try because I go to the doctor Monday because of my swelling. It's not resolving. And it's weird because now my right eye is a little swollen. So it's concerning that it's my right eye and my right foot that's predominantly swelling. I could not great. Not a great thing. So I go Monday. I have two doctor's appointments Monday. So be patient on your billing. Okay. Just be patient. This is number six. And on this coral necklace, um, I'll do 25 on it. That's really cheap for this coral because it's got some age on it. This, this coral is a nice old coral. And it is, it was that you get it and you test it and it shows color, but it won't. I already did that. <laughs> I already did that. This is so pretty. This is gorgeous. Just beautiful cross. I don't wear crosses anymore. Nothing against Christianity or anything. I just don't. It's just a so this is sterling silver with turquoise. It's on this like twist link. I know I got ink all over me. On this like, is that a Figaro or a twist? It kind of looks like a thin Figaro. Let me see. Let me see. Yeah, it's a Figaro. So that's actually a Figaro chain. There you can see it. It is sterling. Let me see if the cross is marked. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Um, nope, not a nothing, but it's sterling. Uh, what kind of just a Figaro chain? Does the chain give me any clues? There's no markings at all on this, and you know what? To be honest, I bought this. I never tested this, so this is the board the kids walked by or sat down and just took something and mar marked up my marked up my board. So let me just test this, just because there's no markings on this whatsoever. Chains always rub so lovely, don't they? <laughs> just get a smudge if you're lucky. Are we smudgy enough to get a reading? Now we are, and let's check this cross. Yes, buttery. Lord, I'm buried. I got all those bags from yesterday in here. So it's like, good luck finding the test. I had it out. Ah! I already took the one out of the box. I may have to take one that's not open out of the box. Because I always buy at least three or four at a time of that testing. Because I go through so much sterling test. So let me get one out of the box. I know I have another one. I hate opening another one, but that's life. But I just realized I have another box of vintage that I already put for sale once. I saw that drop hit the napkin. I'll switch out my napkin so I don't get silver solution or anything. Are we not turning blue? Did I think I had a sterling that I didn't? Oh, yeah, we are. I just can't see because of the light. But, yeah, we're blue. Well, since I have to switch this out, I'll keep this handy. What's left of it? One of my videos last week, I guess it was, a week before. I don't know. It was when I was, there was a napkin over there, and I kept having that sticky mouth because I had done my cannabis stuff. Let me get a napkin.
So I just picked up a paper towel over here and rubbed my mouth. I was done with the auction and my lip was burning and my throat burned when I started drinking my water. I think I had, I think that had some acid test on it. This has got to be 18 or 20 inches. But yeah, I think I put some of the acid test on my mouth. Yeah, it's 18 inch chain. And then the cross itself is two inches. Isn't this pretty? That's very pretty. Very pretty. I like that figure of chain. That's really nice. So it's right at like 5.78 grams. So I'll do that at 15. I know, stupid cheap, but you know, I have too much sterling. I have too much. I have too much. And what the heck? I'd rather do it here and not have to go through listing. Where's my box? Oh, there it is. <laughs> what number am I on? This is number seven. We're going to do 15 on this. So the sterling silver turquoise cross on an 18 inch figaro chain. Chain's worth more than that. I should pull pieces off the damn chain, right? I can't sell this. It's like this skinny little. It's like a skinny little. There's these little silver beads there in a silver clasp. And then it's this little silver ring within a ring. And that is it. That's the piece. That's it. That's the piece. Isn't that crazy? I don't know. I don't even want to number this. I'll stick this in a lot or something. I don't know. I'm not going to mess with it. This is old Tesco. It's a dog with the brass colored collar. It's old Tesco. This thing's probably from the 50s. I mean, look. Yeah. The way that is set. Yeah, that round clasp. The way that's seated. And that clasp. Yeah, this is old. Yeah, TV as in Victor 94, Mexico 925. That's an oldie but goodie there. I think this light's too much. I had good light this morning till the storm clouds came. That's fine. Natural lighting's always better, right? I bought this from Tanya probably almost three years ago. It was when she first started. I had an idea plan for this piece, okay? I had a plan for this piece. I paid 25 for that piece. <laughs> Life goes on, right? So, on this one, um, you'd think I'd remember. I just looked and just wrote that number, but no, I, I don't because my brain doesn't work. So, <laughs> this is going to be number eight. And I'll do this one. Uh, so, I'll do this one, $18. How's that? It's a nice old textbook. Number eight, 18. I'm just reaching and grabbing, guys. This is a nice twisted two chain bracelet. Looks like it was mine, so it's probably six and a half, which is too big now. Okay, it says FAS. Oh, that's good. That's a good one. Yep. Should say Italy. Yep. FAS 925 Italy. I don't waste that money. It's a six and a half. It's a six. And a, wait a minute. Yeah, six and a half. I had to check out where the lines were laying. Six and a half. And this one is 5.99 grams. So I'll do this one for $12. How's that? That's actually, that's actually $2 of grams. Looks like. So how about I just do eight dollars on this? This is number nine. It's a busy bag already. Okay, <laughs> I reuse and reuse. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna do eight dollars on that. It's a size six and a half. Eight dollars, and that's on number nine. 
Just reaching up there and grabbing. Oh, this is nice. Yeah, isn't that pretty? I don't even think I've shown this, so it's kind of stupid to be doing final on this. That's just raised to give you that design of the butcher fly. I don't remember anything about this piece because I just don't. It's just a sterling. Oh, it's got a, a script fancy D and then a trademark and a sterling. It's an older hinge. That is cool. That hinge is set like on its side. So the hinge is on its side with it sitting here. That's cool. Is that why that bumps there? <gasps> Did that get rolled over? We need lights. You can see that. I think it's going to make it worse. But that's laying down. I think that's what's making that bump. I thought it was a design. Ooh, it's not. But I don't think anyone would know that. So how about we just, just like write it eight grams? We'll just do I'll do seven bucks on him because that's laying down. So when that laid down, why would it make it bump out instead of bring it up? You think it would have made it skinnier? Oh shit. This is that Joe Del Garito. Let me look at that clasp and see. Yeah, it's bent, but why would that make it pook out instead of like pull in? Either way, it's solid. It's not, it didn't pull away. It's still firmly soldered. I don't know. That's very confusing. All right, I'll stick to it. Did I say it's seven bucks? It's Joe Del, Gra Del Garito. There he is, it's signed. Damn. <laughs> uh, so we're at number 10 and I will I'll stick to $7 because I think it's bent over it might not be I think it is but it's, it's not unattached it's weird you'd have to see it yourself I'm, I'm confused <laughs> I can't do this by weight this is very old this is clearly like Victorian it is 800 silver and those are shell cameos this is lovely. Yeah, old silver turns yellow. It's normal. This is not the original class. This was replaced with an old spring ring. But it's definitely an early spring ring. But yeah, this is 800 silver. It'll test, but don't. It's not sterling. But it, it'll trick you. It'll give you a sterling test, but it's not. All right, that's gorgeous. I bought this from Gina again years ago <laughs> years ago i don't think i ever wore it i don't i don't think i ever wore it yeah i paid like 75 for this thing it's a uh, 10 and a half that's what 21 inch total length let me give you the actual drop i measured the whole thing duh duh i keep grabbing the wrong freaking end Let's give you an actual drop down to the first to the bottom 17 inches to the top of this. They are old, old shell cameos. That's a nice piece. That's a nice antique piece. I've never tried to clean this. You can. Just stay off of those cameos. I don't even clean my cameos. I just dust them off. I don't clean them. Clean them. I'm scared to. No. It's just I don't. Because there's no point. And just keep them dusted off. And make sure you take them off. You know, put them on after you've done your makeup and stuff. And take them off before you start cleaning your face and stuff. Okay. I got old numbers all over these bags. Oh, we're on number 11. That looks like just crazy lines. So we're on number 11. And I'm going to cut this in half. And I'll drop this to 35 bucks. Stupid cheap for an antique with all those cameos. First comes, first served by email. 
Oh, there's a ring in here. Hmm, I can't believe a ring survived. What do you say? Size 8, it says. Oh, that's pretty. Looks like carnelian. Are you black or are you carnelian? I sold the other little black ring, so don't worry, Char. This is not your ring. <laughs> See, it's a different one. Size 8. Alright, so. On that little ring. Size 8. My Priscillian still won't come on. Life is such. I need a smaller bag. Smaller, I say. I'll reuse this bag. Alright, size 8. Sterling. Cute little ring. And this is number 12. I'll just do that at 6 bucks. Yes, I'm motivated to sell. I need to reduce my... Just, I have so much stock. It's crazy. And I was looking at the auctions the other day. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> what the hell are you doing? These are old. And these are sterling. They're screw bags. And these are sterling. They're not the ones. They're not the uh, Niello. These are, I think, the Siams. Yeah, these are Siam. And they say sterling. But spent. I've tested these. These are old. I've had these forever. Old, old, old screw bags. I've had those way too long. I'll do these for six bucks. Sterling silver. Siam. This should be number 13. And that's just six dollars. Okay, what's next? What's next in the tray? Oh, this is nice. It says vintage sterling. Mexico onyx brooch, two inches by two and a half inches by two inches, 13.87 grams. So that means that is nice. Very nice. So what was my grams? I'll do that at 15 bucks. Nice. That one I had the little pad in. Holy smokes. Oh, I'll leave the note in there. <laughs> I know. I'm highly motivated. Okay, what is this again? I forget my number. I forgot my number. <laughs> I did. It's number 14. And I did something stupid. What, $15? Yep. What just landed in my lap? Oh, it was a bag. <laughs> like, what the heck does hand? <gasps> what landed on me? Ah! <laughs> Somebody help me. I'm going to use this tray to put my... This is what I got left on this on this tray. <laughs> Let me just take everything off. And then we'll put them on this tray. The baggy bags. So patience is a virtue. I'm making a little pile over here. Let me get all this up here. What in the world are you? I have so much, so much, so much. Good grief. Bear with me. I'm picking all this up. Uh, come on. Uh. Uh. Good grief, Charlie Brown. If I can find that other earring, I'll stick it with it. Here it is. They don't match, though. So they're completely mismatched. So, Rick's pick. Nah, I don't think so. This is nice. Beautiful amber. Sterling. Is this open? Sure looks like it does. No, it's just built that way. Come on, that looks like it opens, doesn't it? Let me take a closer look at that. Oh, it's a leaf. It doesn't open. That's design. That's a leaf. And I need to kill the light. Kill the light. That's a beautiful leaf. 
I was thinking it was a clip or something. I couldn't. I forgot my glasses upstairs. Beautiful amber. I know I'm covered in ink. Sorry, nothing I can do about it. Well, there is. I get washing my hands and trying to get it on me again, but I will. Because I'm using a marker and I'm metal. I'm trying to get this clasp and I can't see. That's why it's unclasped. It's got a small hook and I can't see. That's a long chain. That's a nice chain. It's a fat little bugger. That's got to be 20 inches. 20 inches easy. And that is 8.21. So I will do that for 17 bucks. I know. 17. I won't repeat myself. The chain's worth that. Okay. Um, I won't repeat myself. Oh, shoot. I moved my bag and now I need to know my number. What was my last number? I know you can't scream at me through the. Jeez, Louise. I can't read this bag. Oh, I'm looking at the front. Hey, that's convenient. This is number 15. And I did, what was it, 17, I think, right? Yep, I think so. What's next? Come on, baby. Come out of there. That's an air rings. I'm glad I took notes because my prosthetium is just still flashing. Anyway. It says Sterling. I can't read it. It's too dark. Sterling Pink Jade Dangle Earrings. One and a half inch drop. Those are pretty. Really pretty. So little Pink Jade Earrings. Adorable. Adorable, darling. So I'll leave the paper in there that says it's jade and what the drop is. They really are pretty. Very stylistic the way that they're cradled. Still, maybe it'll focus. Or maybe not. It's kind of wrapped around there. I think you can see that, how that wraps around. There we go. Cradles that are really pretty. You'll know they're on too. They got a little bit of weight to them. Those are adorable. Okay. And this is number 16. And I'll do these for $8. No, I'm not measuring. I'm weighing those. <laughs> okay. This one pisses me off. I paid 90 bucks for this damn thing. There's so many online already for sale. Who is this? Judith Ripker or the other chick? One of the chicks with the heart on the clasp. And they call it like a chocolate. It's a texture, but it is sterling. Is it Judith Ripka? Which one is it? Jesus, I forget. I know it's marked somewhere, but where? Is it Judith Ripka? Yeah, I think so. I don't see any mark on this thing. I bought this from Tanya ages ago. Ah, hang on. Okay. Judith Ripka chocolate textured sterling silvering necklace. <laughs> I know you heard that. It picked it up, what I said, a, mir a miracle. It puts silver ring, because I said sterling instead of just silver. I said sterling ring. I said silver ring, because I don't know. I can't talk. I'll find it to make sure it's it. Because I know it was one of those chicks, one of those HSN or QVC chicks. I know, someone you look at this is going, you know, by the class, but yeah, it is. They call it chocolate sterling silver Verona, some shit like that. Yeah, it pisses me off. They're like 180 bucks. Like, bite me. I paid 90 for it. I figured I could get like, you know, maybe 120 or something out of it. It's an ounce. I remember that. <laughs> this one is 36.14 grams. Crazy, right? 
I can't do the grams on this. I'll eat half of it. How's that? I paid 90 for it. I'll do 45. Lots of room to resell or enjoy a really super nice. So it is Judith Ripka. I had to double check because I can't find a mark on it. it. Probably is. Or maybe the class is supposed to be in this. I don't know. I bought it from Tanya ages ago. Number 16. Probably like two and a half years. Going on three years ago. It might be three years ago. Oh, I finally I hit over 500 subscribers. Yay! So thank you guys. This is um, Amber Sterling Silver Contemporary Earrings. I'm not weighing them. We're just going to do eight bucks on these little doodle hoodles like this. <laughs> the sterling silver amber earrings. I'll do those at eight. Oh, they're a mile away. Sorry. You'd think it'd be like close because of where the camera's sitting. And yes, this stuff's all been tested. I already have the light. It's just not doing jack. Pretty. Ah, they're post. If I can find, so I have some sterling bags. If I can find them, I'll pop them on these pieces. But I don't know where I put them. I bought the damn sterling bags, and then I don't know what I did with them. And they're they're just in a little tiny bag. So God knows that sold. That's not what this is. Okay, actually, I'll drop these lower. Um, this is number seventeen. I'll do these um for five bucks. How's that? Number seventeen, the amber earrings, five bucks, and they are amber. They glow. Thank you. These are so tiny. They're little faux. They're faux sapphires, but they're supposed to look like pink sapphire. They're just little sweet sterling silver, little faux, and they're yeah, they have the rivoli type style the way they're cut. These are just so tiny. Little bitty babies. I had five bucks on them. Obviously, no one wanted them for five. So, how about we just do three bucks on them? And these are number, I think we're on 18. Oh my God, I remember number 18. Three dollars. Those are just sweet. If Chloe had pierced ears, I'd give them to her, but she doesn't have pierced ears. So. Oh, this is a vintage piece. This is that old. Verme, um, and it has a name on it. I think it's Muriel. Yeah, M U R I E L. The thing is, you'll lose your wash over, but you can either take it to a jeweler or um, who was it that showed how to do it on her channel? Oh, Olive's Vintage Market. Um, so it's on YouTube, and she did one where she took it off, but hers didn't have gold wash. So that's the deal. I would say you could take it off. Can you open that? Yes, you could open that if you wanted to. It's good weight on this. It's old. This is like a 50s piece. It's got that old that old clasp that opens like this. It's not a sister clasp. It's I don't know what they call these. But this is old. Very old. Look, Chickapoo. Get on there. <laughs> I'm supposed to close further than that. Am I supposed to put this on both of them? Is that I'm missing or I can't see what I'm doing? It's half my problem. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Let me open that back up so I can get a. What am I doing wrong? Because it should. Can it slide all the way shut once that's on there? There's a certain one I got to put on this side, maybe. Or is that it? That does work. Okay, we're going to go with that. This is seven and a quarter. I'd stick with seven on this, honestly. Yeah, no, see, that's opening. So am I supposed to get both halves in there or something? No, it still doesn't like slide all the way shut. Are you supposed to bring this down here? And Yes. If you move this down, then it closes all the way. Okay. Okay. I'd stick to size seven. Seven and a quarter at the most. That's a nice old piece. If I had it in me, I'd probably take that off and just 
or throw it in some tarnix and turn the whole thing back to without the gold wash. But it's got a nice heavy like rose gold wash on it. So it's up to you. Muriel. Okay, so this is 12.55 grams. I'll do that for 15 bucks. That's cheap as hell. That's nice. Yeah, because the, the um, Tarnix is not going to hurt it, but it'll strip all that gold off. And then that way you could just, you know, grind it, use your Dremel tool or whatever, and you can polish that stuff off of there. Okay, I'm looking for that garbage can. There we go. I think we're on 18. No, oh, wait a minute. That was that little dinky ring. My earrings. Yeah, this is number 19. Number 19 is 15 bucks. That's a really good deal for such a vintage piece. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. This is weird. I don't know if I can eat. I might have to put this uh, in a jewelry lot because, yeah, it is sterling. But again, it's a project piece because this is blank, but this maker is known and it is all sterling. But it needs, you have to put something in there yourself. Yeah, it's a, a Sabika, S A B I K K A. But this is indented. If there's something goes, there's no glass over the top. So, didn't I have another sterling piece that was like a project piece? Yeah, I'll save that for a lot or something because I don't know what the hell to do with that. There's a pendant, it needs a chain. I have about a kajillion chains. <laughs> This is old Delph and Sterling. It is marked Delph on the back. It is Sterling and it's been tested. This is old, probably 50s tourist piece. It's sweet. And I'll knock this one down to 10. It was 15, I think, the last. Yeah, I had it at 15. I'll drop this to $10. And this one should be number 20. Number 20, the vintage Delft piece. I'll drop that to 10 bucks. What's in the bag? These are empty bags. That's kind of good. I take a break. My foot's starting to swell again. Okie dokie, Smokey. <laughs> I'm going to doctor Monday because it's my right eye and my right ankle so that's kind of scary but then again everything that's messed up with me is my right side oh these are nice sterling i wonder what these are my presidium's not working i think i don't know if i even showed these i don't know there's no way they're diamonds because those are freaking huge <laughs> Let's call them CZs. What does my notes say? I left my glasses upstairs. It says glass. <laughs> They're little huggies. And they clip in there nice. Little huggies. I know, my, I'm inked out. What can I tell you? Those are super pretty. Aren't they super pretty? Wow. Okay. Let's stick with our little inexpensive eight dollar roll we got going on here Let's see if i can get more ink on me i can add red to my green i could be christmas inked what are we at i can't even read my own writing that can't just be number seven something's wrong no that was number 14 so this one's 15. I rewrite my numbers. Oh, it was number 20. Let me redo this last bag. Number 20. Okay, that was that Delft piece. All right, so this is number 21. And I'm just going to do um, eight bucks on these. Isn't that what I said? Yeah, yeah. Those are nice earrings. Really nice earrings. All right, the stuff's in the way, so... This is vintage. It's not clasped. Don't be tangled. I said, don't be tangled. How are you inside this other piece? 
Wait a minute. What have I done here? Okay, it is inside the other piece. Okay, it's not an old spring rain clasp, of course, because it's old. <laughs> it's um a flower. I'm not focusing for crap. The clouds are sort of kind of faded, so maybe, oh, that is better. Isn't that pretty? And it's dimensional. Um, this is, I'm going to say, 18 inch. Isn't that pretty? That's very pretty. It's got one of those old sturdy chains. It's thin, but it's sturdy as all. I know I'm not focusing very well. I apologize. There ain't a whole lot I can do about it. That is so nice. Are you signed, sir? Yeah. Art. Oh, that's an old Art. Ugh, art Sterling. It's an old Art Arthur Pepper. Yeah, that's that's a nice piece. I've had this a long time. A long time. It's a bag I took it out of. It certainly wasn't just loose. Okay. On the Arthur Peppers is Art. Art Sterling. Okay. This is number 22. And I'll do that one. I'll do it for 15. Because it includes the chain. That's nice and old. Nice and old. Let's just go ahead. What's in the way here? What are you? Just a pendant. I need to test. And my test in ability is not existent. Oh my God. Were you on something? Not me. <laughs> I'm not on anything. And we can't do this because I have the earrings to match that. And it's zuni zuni baby baby. This is that set. Uh, I'm not really wanting to give that away. What are you? I'm losing things off the chains is the problem as I'm pulling them because they're open. I'm trying to make tangles. <clears throat> Okay, this is nice. They're all nice, but I have my favorites, right? Right. Come here, you. It's all twisted around itself here. There we go. I better clasp it before it pulls that crap again. This has a lobster claw. Oops, see? It's trying to make a knot again. Lucky pain in the neck. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. There. We're getting somewhere. Uh, it's got a fat, fat lobster claw. Isn't that pretty? Is this the one that is turquoise? Or is it azure? This is that Israel piece. Oh, it's opal. <laughs> It's opal, and it is a it says nine two five, and then oh, it said did a did a Israel as opal. I think it lights too much. It's opal. It's marked in the back. Did A in the center and an Israel written on the side. And that looks to be like a 18 inch chain. So the Did A Israel. Oops. Man down. I still got more vintage because I did a vintage um, sale recording early. This morning, I decided to do another sale. I thought, let me do the sterlings. I got so much sterling. Let me start thinning out the sterling. <laughs> so I buy more now. <laughs> no, no. So the Dede Opal necklace. Oh, 
Can't really do that by weight with a nice opal in it. I'm just being did, eh? Oops, I just knocked my camera for a loop. Yeah, don't weigh much. It's like three grams. So I'm doing a sale. So let me do a sale on the did a opal sterling. And we should be at what number 23. Let me double check myself. Yep, holy crap. I remembered number 23 on the did a on that one. I'll do 15 again. I'm considering it's including the chains. So the chains. I typically sell my chains 10, 15, 20 and up, depending on the thickness and what they are. This is an old chain. Yeah, buddy. And we have a tangle. Why would it be closed though with nothing on it? Makes no sense. That makes oh it's not it's not it's yeah, it's empty. Why? Is this the one I've been looking for? Is this my Spain that my, goes with my Tiffany? No, it says Italy. Let me set this aside because it's got yet another knot in it and I don't fight dealing with it. <laughs> this goes on here. This is an old chain. This is an old locket. If I can see what I'm doing, I'll put it on the chain. Get in there. Nope, it said no. Computer says no. Does this not fit on here? Am I barking up the wrong tree? I am. This chain doesn't want to go through. Or I'm just klutzy, which is a real possibility. I don't think it wants to go through the bail, guys. It might not be the right chain. No, it's not. That doesn't want to go in the bail. And it's got a freaking knot. Oh, I hate those. So we just have the pendant. It's an old locket. Does it say something or what's it going on here? It's floral. It's all etched florals and it has a thing in the center. It's meant to be, this was meant to be engraved. Yeah, it's got some age on it. Sure does. Yeah, that's not anything. I don't know. It feels like plastic. I've tried to peel it up. But I thought, well, no, that wouldn't be. I don't know. I have no idea what's going on with this sucker. Get out of the way. Are we not closing properly? Yeah, we did. Okay, making sure. Uh, see if it says anything because it's definitely old. Yeah, it's got a really, really antique look to it. It doesn't appear that it's actually closing quite properly. I mean, it's closing. Oh, that's the hinge side. That's why. Duh. Let me check it again. So it opens from the top. It's not clicking. Yeah, no, that's not. That's not closing properly. Now, there's another one for the lot. This is heavy as hell. I was going to stick it in the scrap. The problem is, I don't know that it ever had a clasp down here. I really don't see evidence of a clasp ever being there. Like, there would be some solder left. There would be something. There's nothing to show there was ever anything on this end. Do you see what I mean? There's nothing. That, it wouldn't be there. That would be, no. That's the only place that has anything. And to me, that's the end of his tail. That's not it. That's the end of his tail. I don't see anything. But that pin is going to stick out. I guess they were, they didn't have anywhere to put a bail. I don't know. And this is attached. This piece down here is actually attached. So it doesn't come up. So you can't move it or do anything with it. It's going to stick out whether there was a thing there or not. I don't think there was. 
There is no marks on this thing. We tested this before when I showed it. Wait, there might be something on his nose. Did I miss that? No, it's just texture. Is the pen itself marked? Again, no, it's just like texturing. I'm so, oh, there's something in the very middle. Silver. I don't want to guess that it says Mexico because I really can't read it. Yeah, Mex it says silver. I think Mexico is it. This sucker is heavy. I had stuck it. I was going to put it in the scrap. I thought it's too beautiful. Someone might actually wear that, but it's so heavy and it's so nice. This thing is 28.1 grams. So that's a freaking ounce of silver. Is that crazy? There's nowhere that there was ever, because I thought it was missing, like, you know, the C class or wherever the world went there. It's not. So I'll do it for the. 28 bucks. I'll do a dollar a gram on this thing. I mean, that's cheap as hell. That's a great piece, but I'm going to scrap it if it doesn't sell because it's so heavy. <laughs> if you're 28, you'd finally get nine instead of because it's $11 a gram is the silver price. But by the time they hit you the fee, eh, figure nine. So that's still a lot. Nine times 28. Yeah. It's actually a lot, so <sighs> I have so much scrap already. I should probably just <laughs> stick it in there. Mm, hang on a second. There's a drainy. Okay, I want to make sure because I had some offers out there. I wanted to check and see if I need to stop in my tracks. Um, this is I already did the number and didn't write it. Um, this is number 24, and I said 28. I'll stick to it. That's too low, honestly. I should have thought that through. I didn't think. I was thinking like a dollar a gram, but I should have caught my head, huh? These are nice. These obviously are old Mexico. I have so many like this is the thing. That's why I didn't just keep these. They're Mexico 95. This has all been tested. It's all silver. These are pretty. Come on, Bubba. Right, these are like 16 and a half grams. So, okay. I need an empty bag, please. Okay, so. I paid 20 for these, but that's okay. I think we're on number 24, aren't we? Was it the big bull, number 23? <laughs> no, we're on number 25. Number 25. And um, I'll do 16 on them. Number 25, 16. I really don't do want to do this because it's an expensive as hell set. So I'll wait till I can go back and research this piece because it is somebody, it's something, it's something. This is an antique piece. I don't know if that's 800 silver or sterling because it's got a lot of age on it, that's for sure. It says 800 and it signs something. What do you say? Ow, I'm stinging on my finger. Did I get testing stuff on me? I haven't tested anything in a freaking minute. I can't read that. I can't read it. It's got something written above the 800. I can't read it. It is a shell cameo. It's definitely antique. Look at her. She's a handsome woman. <laughs> uh, I don't have a chain on that. You had this, you're something on you. Something's on you. Don't have a chain laying around that doesn't have a mate. This black one, it wasn't on the on the one that's black and sterling. No way. This was. It's not getting it back though. All right, we're gonna send it this by itself. It's an antique cameo pendant. 
It's really pretty. This is like really pretty filigree work. I keep blurring in and out. My stupid camera drives me crazy. And I don't have far to drive. Let's try it with a natural light. That's better. Beautiful, huh? Yes, Mel, it is. I can hear y'all agreeing with me. All right, this is number 26. Number 26, and I will do this one. Um, I'll do it for 20. That's a nice antique. Yeah, my hand's itching. Either some, somebody come in, I'm gonna get, no, I'm gonna get some money. Okay, you guys buy up, I'm getting some money. I think this is the old Burks piece. Let's see what it says here. Yeah, Burks. It's B-R-K-S, but it's Burks. Sterling Silver, 1950s, brooch. Let's write out 10 grams. Okay. Sounds good to me. I'll even put the little silver thing back in there. Yeah. Yeah, it's so shiny. It's kind of bling bling me yes burks b-r-k-s i've had this thing forever and a day i've had that a long time this is number 27. i do the burks piece for 10 bucks how's that i'm telling you guys i'm highly motivated I have two pairs of earrings in here. No, I don't. I have one pair and a pendant. I swear I see copper coming through this thing. Am I blind or something seriously wrong here? Or am I just can't see? I just can't see. <laughs> There's no copper. It's my eyeballs. It's my eyeballs. This is all open in the back. 925A, Thailand. Another pendant. Are these marcasites or fakers? They're marcasites and silver work. And these are all obviously CZs in the middle. And the marcasites around the edge. It is a pendant. There's all those holes in the back for the light to come in. I had these together because this had the CZs. I thought we'd go to get it together. These knee backs. I looked when I took my break because I need to walk around, you know, I didn't find the backs. I thought, let me find them. I can pop those on the pieces. I didn't find them. I did not find them, dear. So, let's see. Zero out, darling, please. So, yeah, this is 9.2 grams. So, you got the pair of earrings and the pendant together. <laughs> So, this should be what it is. I can't remember shit. I can't read my own writing. That's scary. I'm looking at the right. Am I looking at the right? Oh, that was number 27. Okay, this is number 28. Let me change my pen. I think the red's easier to see. Yeah. And I'll do those. Um, how about we just do, how about we do 12? That's six bucks each. So six dollar earrings, six dollar pendant. And they do match. That was the whole method of my madness. This is weird. Okay, it says club deep deporting D-E-P-O-R-T-I. Like it's an association for kicking people out of what and it's Guadalajara. A 925 that's what it says should probably put this inside the kind of lot thing i will because that's kind of a niche what do you say it's a fine chain here oh and it goes through it's got two holes that so feeds through the it feeds to the actual piece this is another oldie that's old 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 <laughs> what kind of weird thing do you say come on i'm trying to feed this so i can clasp it see if the clasps is marked anything it looks like just italy probably what does this thing say it's got one two three four five stars around the bottom it's got 
all kind of like textured work around the border. And then it says when the when the sun shines. So it says when the sun shines. When the sun shines. That's it. That's all it says. What's the back say? Oh, okay. Nine two five and this I and the plus sign B. And it has the again the rainbow like lines above it. I and B. I don't know. When the sun shines, vintage sterling pendant necklace. Oh no. I'm just curious because it's got to be something. I mean, certainly that should be known. I and B. Let me just get rid of the sunshine part and just put an I and B sterling. And we'll get an idea of age on this thing because I have no clue. It's clearly old. And it's a capital I lowercase b. So let me look and see what it says. Help identify. <laughs> Help identify, help identify. Uh, it's bringing me to guide the silver marks. So I don't know. Nobody else knows what it is either. It's old. It's unique. It's for sure. I mean, it has a sun on it. And the five stars. It's like etch work all around it. And then it has that same, like, the lines, like, of a rainbow with the capital I and then the plus sign and the lowercase b. I have no idea it came on this chain. I have no idea if this is the original chain or not. Not a clue. I don't have origin on this. This is probably in one of the lots I bought. I, don't, I didn't buy this individually. I'll do it for 10 bucks. I need to sell this stuff, so 10 bucks is fine. Maybe you'll have better luck researching it, not clasping it. I'm not going to sit here and fight. My hand's already kind of numb. All right, where are we anyway? Number 29. Look, I get to finish a number. Ten bucks on the When the Sun Shines vintage necklace. No idea. No clue. Obviously, online, people, this is actually antique, and it cries me crazy. Because there's new ones out there. So it's like the Crystal Hearts. But I know for a fact it's antique. I bought it freaking forever ago. I probably had this thing 20 years. You can tell by the bail. This is like a deco style. I changed the chain. I don't even know if it had a chain. Yes, I put this chain on there. So that's not a deco chain. This is a deco heart. I bought it. It's an antique. <laughs> But there's new ones. They don't look much different, except that I know what it is because I've had it forever. I just don't wear it. I'm so embarrassed. Look at my ink, but there's no sense. See the, the bail? If we could focus, you'll see it. It goes all the way through. It's not one of those pinch-on things. Okay, I'm trying to get it. Okay, there's the bail. It is crystal. And it's facet cut, so the point comes up in the center. I've taken care of this thing. It's so beautiful. Let's see, that's a nice chain. I like that chain a lot. It looks like a 20 inch or two. That's a nice chain. Well, I've had it so very long. I'll do it for 20. Actually, I should do the 15. I said I'd be low, low, low. <sighs> but I thought I'd wear it. I'd keep it. I haven't worn it forever. It's not even four grams. <sighs> Fine, I'll do 15 on it. No. Catch your head. That is antique, though. I'm, I know it is. 
but you can't tell them apart from the ones they made yesterday, sadly. Well, I can because of that bail, and I bought it, so <laughs> I know. I can leave the 15 on this one. Just need to change the bag number. We hit number 30. I'm not going to go to the other tray. I think I'll finish this tray. I'm going to stop. Okay, that's Rick's pick. That's not Sterling. Are we done? We're done. That's all the Sterling. I don't think it's a Sterling. <laughs> it might be. It was in, on my Sterling tray. Do you say anything? Yeah, the pen is marked. What do you say? Oh, it says Kremitz. It's probably gold. Jesus. That's Kremitz. <laughs> Let me put that over here. I have more costume coming. I have some amazing pieces of costume I haven't gotten to. I got some really nice stuff. So I might do another one of those today. We'll see. We'll see. But yeah, I have enough sitting here to do another one. Another vintage um, sale. Plus, I need to pull that box off the floor that I put up for sale before the pieces that didn't sell. I don't want to do lots. The lots, all, but they always do sell. Let me take that back. The lots do sell. My lots always sell. But I really just want to get through all the stuff that I've already put up for sale and do it individually in the small groups like I did before because I do better at those than trying to sell the big, like, $50, $75, $100 lots. I do sell them. Don't get me wrong. They always sell. They sell in 24 hours. It's just I always lose my ass. I get carried away and thinking, did I put enough in there? Is there enough in there? And I get over, I get carried away. I end up giving away stuff. I'm not paying attention. There ends up being gold. And there's all kind of shit in there. You wouldn't believe the stuff I gave away. <laughs> oh, wait, there's two pendants here. Let's do those and then we'll call it. Then I'll call it. So this is new, actually. This is brand new. Never wore it. Never stuck it on this chain. <laughs> this I have from Dan Marie. It's a banded. Some type of agate. She didn't know what it is. I can't figure out what it is either. It's really pretty. It is sterling. I don't know if it says anything. Let's see if it gives me any hints. It's just 925, I think. It says something. Oh, it's spelled out sterling. It says something along the edge, but it's illegible. It's a shit ton of stuff right in there. Can't read it. So let's do these two together. How's that? I'll just do both of these uh, for 10 bucks. Yeah, buddy. Brand new. Any chains, let me know. I do chains like at um, 15, 20 and up because it depends on the, the length, the style, the weight, yada, yada, yada. So this is going to be $10. And what's our final number, ladies and gents? Uh, we almost ended on the even number. We're going to do it. It's number 31. Number 31. Two sterling pendants. We have the Abalone, and um, mystery banded ag, um, it's a gemstone of some sort. Number 31, 10 dollars, and we're done. You know the deal. First come, first serve. You email, you email, and then, um, there's an, I'm not sure what order I'm putting these videos in, but I did a bunch of other lots. I did $15 bags. The next bunch of vintage is going to be some better pieces. I have to decide what I truly want to bring via the recording because some of the stuff is pretty expensive um so i don't know i mean i have like a 400 dollars bracelet i was gonna say well i would do probably like 250 on it because it's a signer um antiques i have a lot of stuff left so i gotta decide what i'm gonna do or if i want to do another sale and put it up for auction and then end up having to bring them to freaking you know discount anyway <laughs> All right, kiddos. I will see you later, alligators. I'm not sure if I'm doing a video of a live sale tomorrow night. I've been waking up so early. I go to sleep early. So I slept through my auction last weekend. And honestly, with all this swelling going on, I just, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I mean, it gets pretty severe pretty fast. It's real it's kind of bothering me. But I go to the doctor Monday. I'm sure she'll probably have me go get you know, probably the cat skin or whatever it is on my lungs to make sure there's nothing there. I don't know what she'll do. If she'll try water pills first. I don't know. We'll see. I'll let y'all know next week. I'm not too overly worried, but I'm worried enough to go to the doctor because my right eye puffed up and my right ankle. It's kind of weird that it really is focused on my right side. 
but so is all my nerve damage, so I don't know. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. You know the deal. Email me, first come, first serve. And uh, I might just do a recording tomorrow for the rest of this vintage. It's already lunchtime. You go make my grilled cheese and tomato soup. <laughs> I'm a creature of habit. All right, thank you guys so much. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.